In this video, I will show you how to make a report with E3. So, in E3, to make a report, first we need to prepare some data and record the data into database. So, let's insert in our data server two demo tag. So, demo tag one will be from 0 to 100. And I will insert one more, and the second one will be from 0 to 10. Then I will choose to insert one internal tag. This internal tag will be integer type, and I will set the value 88. So now we need to record our data into database. So for this, I need to insert one database connection in my project and set the property of my connection and write my information. So I will choose SQL Server. Choose write my information. So my connection is successful. So right now I can record my data into the database and for this purpose I need to insert historic. So in historic I will add three fields and this three field will be demo tag one demo tag two and internal tag one then I can choose here demo tag one as source demo tag two value source and internal tag one value then in my historic I go to property and I need to choose my database connection db1 and table name which is signal and I will record every second so I can create my table then the create table is created and I can save and run so now the data is recording in database so to make a report to make a report in my project I can in my report here the category I can insert a new report so I can choose for example to record in a new file the name is a report okay then I have my new report here first I can maybe Put the logo so I just choose picture and draw a picture here then I go to the property picture and I can choose to go to the image so I go to my folder here okay so I have my logo and I can also put text report change the size change the size to 22 okay so here this is the detail of my report but I want to have one line with a header so I can insert right click insert group header and footer so I just put here the header here and I can put my header so I choose I use the text here to insert here one more here and also one more here and one more here so 
the first one will be my E3 timestamp. Second one will be demo tag one. Second one will be demo tag two. And the last one is my internal tag one. So here I am at either ready for the time. I need more space. Okay, then demo tag one, demo tag two, and internal tag. Okay, so in my detail here, I will show my data. So I can choose set point. So I will draw set point just under one more here. One more here. Okay, and the last one here. So this field I need to connect to the data. The data now is in database. So my report also need a query. So I need to configure my query. And I need to choose the database connection, DB1. Then I need to pick the table I want to read the data from. In my case, it's signal. I choose E3 timestamp, demo tag 1, demo tag 2, and eternal tag 1. I can visualize my query, so this is perfect. Okay, so I have my field. So if I check my query carefully, I have the field demo tag one, demo tag two, internal tag one. So in my table here, I have my field. This is my field name. I need to use the exact spelling of this field if I want to show the data in my report. So for field one here, in property tab, we have one property which is data field. So here I write exactly the same with my table in my query. E3 time stamp. The second one will be demo tag one. Field three is demo tag two. And four is internal tag one. So, the report is almost ready. We can choose to preview the report. And now we have the report here, ready. If I want, I can improve the display by centering my data For here, I can center. Like this. In this report, I have some other function. For example, what thing I can do is I can choose to display one data. For example, I will take demo tech two. And here we have barcode. So I can draw a barcode here. Actually, I put the barcode here in this field. And then I will insert one more label here. Like this. Barcode demo tag 2. And this barcode I can link to the tab field demo tag too. I save. And then if I preview again 
my report, I can have the barcode here for each demo deck too. So I can make a small space between two record, then it will be more visible. So I just preview. Then I have my barcode here for each demo deck too. I can have the barcode if I want to use this report for optical reading with optical reader. I can center Okay. So can it center like this? Okay. 